Hi guys, my name is Gregory. This story is quite nasty. Everything could have ended up awful. It kind of happened that my sister and me, we have only my dad. If he went to jail, we would have gone to an orphanage. Anyways, one thing at a time. Subscribe to our animated new story channel and hit the like button. This way it will be easier for me to share my story. It was a usual morning. Our whole family, dad, me, and my sister Emmy, we were having breakfast. As always, dad gave us money because he was leaving for a business trip. He was going to Europe for a day. He had some business there, and he wanted me and Emmy to have everything that we needed. He usually went to business trips once a month, and he always came back so tense and was in a bad mood for the next couple of days, though every time he brought us gifts. Last time, he brought us a dinosaur on the remote control. Dad has his own catchphrase. When he is extra happy, he always says, Lucky ducky! This time was no different. He gave us a lift to school and said, Lucky ducky! After school, me and Emmy went to get our first gyro scooter. We've been dreaming about this for so long. Emmy couldn't stop talking about it. All of her friends had one and she envied them a little. We've been choosing it for a long time. We settled on the cheapest and simplest one. To get one, we had to spend all the money dad gave us. Emmy was beyond happy. We've been riding a gyro scooter for two hours straight. Took silly selfies and had fun. Later that evening, when Emmy was already asleep, a sheriff showed up at our house. He seemed so serious. I got really scared. I'm way too young to have issues with the law. I certainly didn't expect the sheriff to ask me to go to the station with him. At the station, he made me coffee, ordered me some scones, and asked me to tell him where dad and I get the money I used at the store. The money turned out to be fake. But how? How in heaven's name is that possible? I took a look around and couldn't understand why I was there. There were a few women in revealing clothes and a guy I'd seen before on the crime news at the station. The sheriff took me to an interrogation room. He glared at me for a long time and then said he had never seen fake money of such a quality. The sheriff was anxious. The veins on his temples were throbbing. He couldn't stand it any longer and threw the ashtray at the wall. He started talking about life in jail and how my dad would have to go there for a very long time. He talked about how prison was very difficult for someone with good education, about having to spend a bunch of money on a lawyer, about how once a person is in jail, he's never the same again. A terrible thought came to my mind. The sheriff thinks my dad has forged the money. That couldn't be true for one simple reason. My dad is a good man, and he wouldn't forge money. He always helps everyone. My dad is one of those people who donates money to charity. The sheriff took me home. I went to my room and couldn't sleep until morning. I was moving things from place to place, going from corner to corner. There were so many things on my mind that it felt like my head was about to explode. When dad came home in the morning, I told him everything right away. Dad froze like a statue. I saw fear in his eyes. He stood with his hands tightly clenched together. His upper lip trembled. I had never seen him like that before in my life. He asked me to go back to my room. I sat on the bed and began to shiver. I thought about my sister and our future, and I knew we couldn't handle it without dad. I went to the window and saw the sheriff's car under the house. The sheriff and my dad were standing beside it. His face turned so pale. I realized it was the moment of truth. If I said it was me who forged the money, my dad would be let go. This plan was naive, but I didn't have another one. I ran down the stairs as quickly as I could, then out of the house to the sheriff and my dad. I cried like a baby. I was so emotional talking about how my sister and I decided to forge the money to buy a gyro scooter. Dad kept silent as he was a defendant during a sentencing hearing. The words came out of my mouth. I couldn't recognize my own voice anymore. But I went on and on without tears running down my face. It was all me. The sheriff remained silent for ages. The wrinkles on his forehead smoothed out. Flashbacks began to appear in front of my eyes. Images from my childhood flashed before my eyes. Here was dad babysitting Emmy. Here was dad buying me my first console. In that very moment, I realized that dad was doing everything he could to make me and Emmy happy. But suddenly... The sheriff smiled and took a chocolate bar out of his pocket. 
Then he turned to my daddy and said, You better watch out for your kids. I couldn't believe how lucky we were. The sheriff believed it was me who forged the money. He's got kids too. He's a simple man with real emotions. And my penetrating look did the trick. When the sheriff drove away, dad hugged me. The whole world seemed to stop. Dad kept holding me. We are the men, and the only girl in our family is Emmy. We came home and made breakfast together. When Emmy came out of her room, she didn't notice anything. Dad and I were smiling, and then he suddenly said, Lucky ducky, while he was unpacking a present for us. I looked at him with eyes full of joy. This time, he'd brought us a gyro scooter. Dad's gyro scooter was the latest and the best model. We never came back to the subject of forged money ever again. Dad still kept giving us pocket money. Luckily, they were all real. Honestly, I don't know what kind of business my dad got into. Maybe he got involved in crime, but none of that matters. What I do know is that if my dad was forging money, there was a good reason for it. Thank you for listening to all this.